uh, usually break uh, binary compatibility uh, because uh, they mostly come uh, from the Linux world uh, where it's not a problem to just recompile everything uh, and it works again. Uh, but for us, it's a problem. So uh, we have uh, added support for version libraries so we can install multiple versions uh, side by side. Uh, so all the applications still use the old library and new application. We can use a newer version. Uh, we are also hiding some uh, libraries. For example, for example, ICU is used for the local kit, but we don't expose as a ICU API, API directly. Uh, the application goes to the local kit, which has a stable API and which calls uh, the ICU library. So if, the, if ICU changes, uh, the application can still call the local kit and it will wrap uh, the calls to the new functions. Uh, we, we had some problems with the provider. Uh, GCC3 uh, changed some uh, C++ mapping, which is the way um, function names are translated to symbols in C++. Uh, basically, it's, this means uh, if you compile an application with GCC3, it will not call the right functions for a library which is compiled with GCC2. So this is why we have every bit of micro to have both versions of the libs available. Uh, and there are some applications that uh, do bad things like calling internal APIs which are not public, uh, <coughs> which rely on undefined backcover such as uh, launching two threads and Expecting that one will be run first or something like that. Uh, usually, this can only be fixed if uh, we can lose the <coughs> application because it requires changing the application itself. Okay, so I will talk about the uh, software we are trying to stay compatible with. Um, the first problem is getting uh, the software itself because, uh, of course, uh, the uh, website is done. They used to have uh, an archive, uh, an archive of uh, software, but it's not available. Uh, they used to have uh, some software on CD, but uh, these are not very easy to find either. So uh, it's uh, really quite some work to track out the application, uh, click on FTP viewers, uh, some uh, website. Actually, I've got a big project about uh, actually a kind of uh, uh, many things, mostly internet website, but also files, uh, videos, and other stuff. Uh, I watch out the FTP search engine. Uh, if you know the file name, then you can locate it in some mirror. So, uh, we got a nice beginning software. And uh, the solution that works best is uh, mainly the workout. If you can find a mail address, it works. It works. <laughs> um, so there are some examples of applications. Uh, well, the brush was a uh, US application that was running in Haiku. <laughs> uh, it, it was made popular for Haiku users. <coughs> and there is a new version, maybe Stefan will show us <laughs> this one. Uh, I talk about Sotis, which is one application I'm developing. Uh, maybe we'll do the demo of it later. Uh, it was closed source. Uh, for our, you know, it's MIT license license. I asked the author for the source code and he released it because he didn't need it anymore. Uh, I fixed some bugs and I'm slowly updating the application. Mm, well, there, there are some other examples. Some of them are part of a group like uh, the shortcut project which was a uh, spicy case before. Uh, now it's part of Haiku, so you um, can reuse the code for improving the writing system itself. Mm -hmm. And some other applications. Uh, uh, there are also portion applications. Uh, sometimes you can reuse uh, the work done on BUS ports uh, to make an Haiku board. Uh, this is a bit more complex because uh, BOS was not as uh, compatible with POSIX and Haiku. So sometimes you need to remove some BOS patches to get the application running on Haiku. 
Ouais, uh, it's better to avoid, avoid uh, duplicating the work on uh, this application if there is already a bigger expression. Uh, so these are some games that use SDL, many command line tools. Uh, the zip tool we use in Maple is also an example of an application which was ported to BOS then. Uh, there is a web browser, Mozilla, uh, which is being replaced now by web positive, but are still in the source. Uh, so, there is a plan about uh, compatibility. Uh, when we release IQ R1, uh, we will keep uh, the GCC4 API stable uh, until uh, R2. And uh, R1 will have a compatibility with uh, BOS R5 apps, which is why it's still using GCC2. Uh, when we move to R2, it will keep compatibility with R1, but not with uh, BOS R5. This means we can remove. Mix it up. Maybe <coughs> mix it up. Try to get uh, the sources from all the applications and try to bring them back 